Article 12. Article 12. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the State Employees Association of New Hampshire, SEIU Local 1984, AFL, CIO, CLC, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits of the current staffing level over the amounts paid in the prior fiscal year. For 39 weeks in 2018, the estimated increase over the previous level would be 60,679. In 2019, 52 weeks, $121,796. For 2020, uh, the estimated increase would be $97,501. For 2021, a 13 week segment, the estimated increase would be $18,910. And to further raise and appropriate $60,679 for the current fiscal year, such sum representing the additional costs attributable to the increase in salaries and benefits required by the new agreement or those that would be paid at the current staffing level. Majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen, recommend 4-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 7-2. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2018 tax impact on $60,679 is 1.8 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Motion to open discussion on Article 12, moved by Mr. Bean, seconded by Mr. Bridal, Mr. Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, just for clarification, this, this is our DPW folks. Our, yeah. These are the workers who go out and clear roads and do the work at DPW. Uh, we've negotiated a three-year agreement at 3-3-3. Three, three, and three. Um, uh, There's some new training incentives in there for a program called the Road Scholar Program. That is a program that um, folks can um, get certain levels um, to help their knowledge and help the town um, on how best to take care of our roads, take care of our, our uh, DPW-related issues. Uh, they, too, have uh, opted to the insurance migration we spoke of in the other two units, uh, added the opt-out, the higher incentives for the opt-out if they choose not to have uh, uh, medical insurance, uh, the protective language of the Cadillac tax, um, and we've also agreed to do a, a minor change in addition to uh, help offset the boot allowance that they have from $150 to $300 a year for boots. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mr. Solomon. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 12? Mr. Jones? Alan Jones, 147 Exeter Road. Mr. Moderator, I'd like to add something. It's not changing the language, but just to add to it. So we're adding some identifying language. For clarification as who we are. So Chapter 70, non-supervisory public works employees. Correct. Yes. Okay. So let me just follow your... So I'm going to give this to the town attorney. I, um, I understand this is just being uh, explanatory and what unit is... Uh, Correct, it is. So Mr. Jones has given me some language, which I think you'll probably see soon up on the screen, which further identifies the units uh, that are covered, the personnel that are covered by this proposed, um, uh, by this proposal. Anything further to add to that while well, we're kind of going through the technical aspect of it? As far as, if you could tell the audience. Support our yeah. As far as the, um, is that okay? Yes. Okay. So we have a, um, we have a, uh, a motion to amend Article 12 submitted by Mr. Jones to add language, add Chapter 70, parentheses, non-supervisory public works employees. Do I have a second? second. Mr. Griffin has seconded that. I'm going to give this to the town clerk. Would you like to speak to that amendment, what you're trying to accomplish by adding that language? Well, over the past few years, we've noticed that it doesn't really explain who we are. A lot of people don't understand that SEA employees are in the town of Hampton. We're just trying to clarify that. Where the employees you say see day in and day out on the streets, picking up your trash, plowing your roads, and patching your, and patching your roads. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jones. We're going to wait for that to uh, come up, and we'll take a vote and uh, get this uh, proposal.
How's that? So I believe it goes from chapter 70 through non-public uh, uh, to uh, employees in parentheses. Um, can you highlight that, Christina? Or yeah, there we go. All right. So that's the uh, that's your proposed amendment that's been moved by Mr. Jones, seconded by Mr. Griffin. All those in favor, please raise your voter cards. Thank you. Down cards. Any opposed? All right. We have Article 12 now amended. Um, thank you, Mr. Jones. Any further comment? Yeah, I'd just like to echo what was mentioned before by a speaker that out of the past 12 years, nine of those years we have not had a contract. And, and if you do spread that increase we're looking for in this next three-year contract, it's, it's not that much. So please come out and support those that support you every day. And you see us out there every day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wish he'd be heard on Article 12? Yes. yes. Hello, Cynthia Jones from 147 Exeter Road. Thank you for allowing me to speak um, and share my support of Article 12 on behalf of the hardworking first responders of the Hampton Public Works Department. Whether it's working day and night to keep our roads safe during a snowstorm, to road repairs, or removing a downed tree, these largely invisible hard workers are on call 24-7 to keep our town safe. They are the unsung heroes here in Hampton. They're not asking for a new facility, although you'd be horrified if you went into the men's room down there, but I digress. Um, they're just looking to be recognized for a job well done. Not only does it reinforce uh, the hardworking behaviors that they already exhibit, but it also makes it easier for us to recruit and train and hang on to the next generation of workers that will take the place of all of these that will be retiring soon. Thank you again, and I hope you support Article 12. Thank you, Ms. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ms. Hale. I'm speaking here on uh, behalf of the Public Works as Deputy Director, but also as a resident of Hampton. Every day I'm fortunate enough to work uh, with these guys, uh, not only them as the SEA, but uh, those that were represented in Article 10 and Article 11. Many of you don't actually get to see what happens in DPW, but I tell you it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. These are the guys that are working during the snowstorms and not getting the time to spend it with their families on Christmas, on Thanksgiving. These are the guys that are out there in the cold, freezing rain, the snowstorms, the flooding. They're the ones doing the work making sure that we are keeping our roads open for our emergency responders, making sure that we're keeping residents safe. It is only fair after all this time that they have not had these contracts that we reward them for the job that they have done. So with that, I truly support Articles 10, 11, and 12, and I hope all of you will too. Thank you, Ms. Hale. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Jacobs. Uh, Chris Jacobs, Director of Public Works. Um, Ms. Louise uh, Woosley, mentioned before that I've had the department's had uh, six retirements um, we're trying desperately to fill those um, the last two people that we sat down with and asked uh, or made an offer to they basically said that the starting wage was was not even close matter of fact both of them said our wives won't let us accept those jobs um, so not that this contract would would totally correct that, but it would help to, to improve it. Um, and again, these are the people that, you know, Christmas Day, uh, Russ is behind me. He didn't get to spend the morning with his kids. Uh, he was out plowing your roads, so you, some of you could go to your grandkids or, or your children's houses. Um, th so these people give up a lot, and um, this contract, I, after the third year, I don't think is much it's a great way of saying thanks. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 12? Hi, uh, Russ Nickerson, 4 Clogger Street. Uh, I support this article. These guys and ladies work really hard, and 
Uh, I would like to see everyone support this. These guys are out there every day in the cold or taking care of the beach, and they deserve a little bit of a cost of living increase. And thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Nickerson. Mr. Bean. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, quickly, finally, and enthusiastically, uh, on the Board of Selectmen and as part of the negotiating team, we urge the, uh, the town's uh, enthusiastic support of Article 12. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Bean. All right, seeing no one else, Article 12 will appear on the warrant as uh, Mr. Moderator, 